How's it going guys? It's like June 28th, I do believe. We are, uh, we finished spraying all the Invigor canola. And now we are spraying the Nexera canola. This is Roundup ready. So we got some Roundup, we got some floppy something, we got some floppy something. We got a bit of a tank mix going on for the grassies and the, and some of this alfalfa that we're trying to take out. Also, we got a micronutrient package that we have in there. We spray micronutrients on everything, every pass we can, we do that. Right, wrong, or otherwise. But anyways, let's take a look at this stuff, shall we? Beautiful day today. Finally, the first day with no wind. Been spraying in 30 kilometer winds. Finally, we got a day with no wind and only had one tank left to put out. So that's just kind of how it rolls. So anyways, this is uh, Roundup Ready Next Era Canola. I grew this stuff last year, uh, but last year was crazy dry even here up north. We are up at the North Farm, just so you guys know. So this is the grass. Remember, it was very, very green. It looked, it looked uh, pasture-like. It was a hay field is what it was. It was not native ground. Uh, we broke most of it. And, uh, but we did seed some canola into uh, some stuff that we didn't break, mostly for trial reasons. We got a super duper catch. You can see clearly every row. And uh, this canola looks very healthy, unlike the uh, Invigor uh, 20 miles away that's seen more rain than this stuff has. It's very water saturated. It's in desperate need now of getting sun. This on the other hand is very healthy looking. It's, it's the first canola we seeded, so it is by far the most advanced. It's a little bit thin here in some spots. There should be some canola plants here, but this one is growing. That's a wild buckwheat. We're gonna kill him. We got some more canola coming here. The majority of it came, but there was a few uh, patchier areas. But all in all, all in all, super duper good catch really good catch of canola so i'm really happy about that so we got a little bit of alfalfa here this is alfalfa is really hard to kill unless you're trying to grow it <laughs> but anyways um we got a concoction on here to try and take that stuff out and uh any of these little weeds that we got coming out here we want to take those out um and then we obviously we still have some dandelions some new flush dandelions coming we want to try to take those out if we can and then, I want to try to find the sprayer operator out here who did a pre-burn on this stuff, which might have been me. <coughs> uh, anyways, because he forgot to pass. So this is what it, it did look like. And this is far more advanced now. Sprayed. Ouch. Oh, mosquitoes. Sprayed. Not sprayed. Sprayed. Not sprayed. Respraying again, spraying for the first time here. So I am happy that I put in a pretty heavy concoction of a mix this time, because we will actually knock that back. Should we should we should actually kill that? Mike doesn't mess around when he loads up chemicals. Here now you can see the dandelion. We got some dandelions coming. A lot of the dandelion, some of this stuff is dead. But you got to remember this was. 80% dandelion, 80% wheat, and some hawksbeard. Mike, that doesn't make 100. I know, right? That's how much of everything there was out here. 300% of everything. But look, you can see every row, which is awesome. Mike, what about the stuff that you broke? Actually, it's a really good question. We didn't really put any canola on this, ouch, on the stuff that we uh, broke. It all went to oats. But we did see some oats. Some side-by-side -side oats on some stuff we didn't break. So that will be our side. And I was looking at that like I told you guys in the last video. And I can't see a difference. Not yet anyway. We'll take it to yield, but I, I can't see a difference. We got to roll that field hopefully yet today. Um, I want to roll it. So maybe I'll be able to see a little bit better uh, than... Sorry, you guys are looking right in the sun. I apologize. So anyways can clearly see oh you can see my fertilizer bands dark green light green dark green light green dark green that's the mid-row bander that's the fertilizer that we were pumping in the ground obviously the grass loves it 
the brome is headed out. Shoot, I could just about hay this. <laughs> but there is canola coming in. Honest, there is. Look at this. We got some canola here. I'm sure it's a little bit thinner, but there is definitely still canola coming out there. Luckily, there isn't very much. Only one pass. Otherwise, I'd probably have to fire the sprayer operator, which is me. So anyways, I got to get cracking. Oh, one thing I did notice about not breaking it is uh, I don't know if it's any smoother. Right here it is because you don't you don't see any mole mounds, you don't see any badger holes, gopher holes. But gosh, after you killed all this grass and you can see all those mole mole mounds, say that ten times fast. Uh, wow, is there ever a lot of them? They're just humped up, humped up, humped up, humped up, humped up, humped up. They're everywhere. I was like, so that's one con. Right here, it's not bad though. Okay, let's get cracking. Look at this. This truly is a hay crop we got going on here, you guys. I think we're going to just go right through that. I hope there's no holes. Don't mind, we're just spraying over some willow trees. Oh, there it is. Ouch, oh, that's rough. Sorry, I don't know why my uh, frames were jumping around all over the place. They still are. Whoa, different angle. Don't know if I like that. There. Right there. That's a gopher hole mound. Those are all mole mounds, mole mounds, mole mounds, mole mounds. There is, and they go all the way out there. There is a ton of those. But I guess 12 years of those things digging out here, that's bound to happen. So I don't like that because those things are rough. Yep. 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 By the way, there was clearly three short passes that Mike forgot. Classic. Good job, Mike. Good job. It was just a little hook. I didn't, obviously, I just, yeah. It's, yeah, no, no excuses. No excuses. Looks like a mine zone out there. A war zone. All those uh, mole mounts. Oh, wow. Yes, I'm gonna get that little sliver. <laughs> so as I was seating away here, um, I actually found a pass that we dissed. We made two rounds here. I think there's two passes. Um, we're just making a headland around prior to us uh, aborting the mission. So let's go and take a look at it. Keep in mind that this was not pro tilt. It's just dissed and it just happened to get seated over so it's pretty rough, but let's go see what we can find. So as you can oh boy, so as you can clearly see here, uh, we made two passes with the uh, disc before we decided no, we we run out of time. We're just going to seed into some of this stuff, and then we'll do a trial, we'll do a test. So this really is not a fair comparison to what we did across this slough over there on the oats. Okay, this was disc one time, and then we just drug the drill over it. <laughs> I'm actually surprised anything grew. But as you can clearly see, we have canola rows. And pretty dang good canola rows. That's pretty impressive. For not getting any pro tilling done. Now this is the, uh, see all this sod? Big old lumps here. This would have got smashed up with the pro tail, right? But! You gotta, I gotta give that canola credit. I see Rose and it's coming.
Oh yeah. It's definitely a little bit on the thinner side, but canola really will get bushy and it will like, I actually did. That's actually a really good question. I know what you guys were thinking. We're like, Mike, did you increase your, increase your seeding rate at all? Given that this wasn't necessarily the best conditions. And yes, I did. I actually upped my seeding rate between seven and 10%. A lot of guys cut their canola seeding rate because canola is so expensive. Uh, but I chose to actually increase my seeding rate due to I wasn't confident that neither the stuff that we dissed here or this grass that we were seeding into would be optimal. You can clear, clearly see there's rows and there's still some spaces. We got a plant. Not much, and then a plant, and then we got a few plants. So, is this any better than this? I would say yes. It is better. But this wouldn't have been the end result. We would not have left it like this and seeded canola. This obviously got missed, and we just kind of seeded right into this. So, anyways, I gotta keep spraying. There, you can kind of see some more rows going this way. I look forward to getting over there to the oats. They look really nice. Um, they got baked to crap. Uh, what I mean by that is we just finished seeding and 1.6 inches of rain came in about 25 minutes and just pounded it down and then it got hot hot is in like 25 and uh it just baked it it just baked it solid i remember going back out there about a week later and i was pulling big chunks out and all the oats are all yellow under there i'm like oh shoot i hope i don't have to reseed this crap that's what i remember thinking but it actually punched through i think it thinned them out a little bit but they punched through all right guys i'm gonna continue on continuing on this canola is gonna cabbage pretty soon look forward to that and we'll do another video on it you guys have yourself a good one and thanks for being awesome you guys are awesome thanks for being awesome adios